Welcome to 8 through one Golf, Daryl. Right now, he is a caddy on the PGA Tour, and I'm really looking forward to hearing his insight on the game of golf and how it's how it's changing. And also, ask him a couple questions. Let's uh, go over your history. Like, where are you from? Um, born and raised. Where are you from? Well, I was born in the Philippines, moved here when I was five, and uh, grew up in Hollister, California. Most people... When I travel and meet people, I just say San Jose because I don't want to get started with the whole Hollister company and is that where is it from? So I just immediately say San Jose and if they start to know the area well, then I'll, you know, dive in and be like, oh, Hollister. And then yeah. sometimes they know, sometimes they don't. And uh, but yeah, just grew up there and went to went to school there in Hollister and then graduated at Cal State Monterey Bay here. What drew you to the role of a caddy and how did you get started in this industry? I didn't want a nine to five. And what got me started is I was talking to him, you know, leaderboarding, standard bearing in the when I was in high school, just was like, man, that would be really cool to be, you know, on the bag. But literally, I thought it was pretty impossible. But it was always like a a dream, like a pipe dream almost. And, you know, just going to school and uh, thought about it. And eventually, like when I was going to college, I was club caddying at a golf course and they hosted a PJ Tour tournament. And then that's when I started networking with other caddies and just kind of like seeing like how to attack it and go about it. And right when I graduated college, I networked with enough caddies and eventually they just said, hey, this is what you gotta do. And started on the web.com, which is the Corn Ferry now, and just eventually worked my way up and still doing it. Thank you. What has been your most memorable experience as a caddy and why? I'm hoping it's that story with you know who. Yeah. <laughs> my memorable moment as a caddy to this date is in 2019 saturday at the farmer's insurance at tory pines we're paired with tiger woods and uh my guy played well so i was caddying for mackenzie hughes and uh, i remember our we started on the back nine which was our front nine he was five under through nine with one three putt so he could have been six and so that that whole day was just unreal for me just the crowd following and you know we beat him that day too so uh, that was also nice. So he breathed the same air as Tiger Woods, guys. That's amazing. The next question is, how has caddying changed over the years, and how have you adapted to these changes? I know you've been caddying for a while now. Right. Uh, I can only imagine the changes he's seen over the past years. I think caddying, there's way more money involved now. So a, a guy that, you know, say you graduate with a business degree, you know, guys are wanting to come into the caddy world because they could potentially make, you know, 10% of a million in one week. So uh, that's one thing that has, has changed is um, more guys are getting into it. And with that being said, it's it's a lot, it's getting harder. It's always been tough. It's even getting more tougher. Like everybody's very professional and serious because there's so much money involved. Mm -hmm. With the money aspect, I, I have to ask this as a follow-up question. We're all thinking it. As a caddy, what are some differences that you see between uh, Live Golf and that tour versus the PGA? Um, are they making more money? Is there more money at stake? Um, what is it like? Based on what I know, I, I know a couple guys. I think that what it's like is really like you're guaranteed a certain amount of money. Like you know you're going to make X dollars, right? Compared to going in the PGA Tour event, like you miss the cut, you make no money, if not lose money. So it's not always, so for a caddy like me, where I'm at, like I'm not with a elite player that's top 20 in the world where you know like more often than not they're going to make you money. You know, so I can go into some weeks and lose money. And so on the Live Tour, they're never going to lose money. They're going to come make no matter what when they show up. On top of Live is paying their expenses compared to a guy like me I'm paying my own expenses mm -hmm. so not only are they making money but they don't have to pay their expenses okay. and uh, to follow up you don't caddy with elite players all the time right, right. so how do you prepare for a round with a new player and what do you do to get to know their game and preferences on the course I think for me in the early stages of a new player less is more so you know you have to know what you're capable of doing and sometimes if you don't you don't need to overstep and so at the end of the day, in the early stages with a new player, just let, let, let them go and do their thing. And then after the round or after each session, be like, hey, what can we do better? What, what do you want more or less from me? So from there, you could learn. And eventually, as time goes on, that becomes and forms a relationship. And then he could be like, 
there's a moment in time to be like, hey, D, what do you think? Or do you like this? Then that's when your opportunity to step up. And then when things go well, then he'd be like, hey, he really knows my game now. I'm going to tell you guys, okay? So Daryl gave me some tips about putting. He was like, you know what? I, I need you to think of this. Just a little tip. Just just threw, threw it in there. Think about missing it one foot past the cup. All right, let's see. So I did that on, on hole 18, and I made the putt. Like, I, I, I never a doubt. So it seems like as a caddy, you're handling not only the game, but their emotions. You have to go in, into the, the head of a player, and I think it's a lot. There's a lot more to what I, I thought. Like, I, I was under the preconceived notion that, you know, you go out there and you tell them the shot and stuff, but it's not only what you say, but it's how you say it and when Correct. you say it. Right. When in doubt, nothing is better than over saying something. Okay. You know, so like I said, if most players, if 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 they want something at, from you, they'll ask and they'll say. A couple more questions here, Daryl. I know you're very busy. How do you handle the mental and emotional demands of caddying, and how do you stay focused and positive during a round? Me overall, like when I get off the golf course, I I don't really think a lot about golf. And I was telling you earlier, like football takes me away. You know, I'm a very 49ers addict. I can name you everybody on the team, what position they play, what number they are. I just can't tell you. I'm not there with the colleges yet. I'm almost there with the colleges. Mm -hmm. So that's my next, you know, step. But I think what motivates me is we typically work 30 weeks a year. So the 22 weeks a year motivate me. And just me being under, you know, I'm not playing, but it's as close as to, you know, you have a front row sh seat to the to the action and the nerves still, you know, get me going. Mm -hmm. So that's what motivates me. Uh, you spoke a little bit about work-life balance and the NFL is definitely one of them for me as well. Um, I guess the, a good question to ask you is how do you balance the responsibilities of caddying with other aspects of your life? I know that you say you travel a lot, you go to different states. Um, and, you know, there, that's a lot to juggle. How do you handle that pressure of balancing your life and then balancing your career and uh, further progressing in your career? I think just like anything, like, I think it comes from I have a good support team. I have a good family, you know, close family and good friends that, you know, I've met met a lot of people along the, the road of my travel that are now close in my circle. And so they, I, there's certain people that I can call for this. And so, you know, it does get lonely because you're in a hotel and you're sometimes, you know, there's been many times that I've, you know, went to the wrong room number because like last week I was this. And so I'm like, how come my key doesn't work? And I'm knocking and somebody answers the door. I'm like, someone's in my room. And turns out like, no, that number was last week. So I'm oh, like, you know, man. three doors down or whatever it may be. So that's definitely have happened. And so, like I said, I think having a good little circle and a good little team around you that, you know, know, like, understand that, like, hey, it's tough. And so, again, you know, even if I was, you know, needed something at 2 a.m., there's people that I can call that, you know, can help out and do stuff like that. Glad you have a, a, a support system. Yeah. My last question to you, Daryl, thank you so much for, for this day. It's been a wonderful day, is uh, what are your long-term goals as a caddy? And what do you hope to achieve in this industry? I mean, my long-term goals are, you know, I want to be able to be part of a, you know, a player that wins a major. You know, I want to be able to caddy in Ryder Cups and President's Cups and uh, be in contention and be there on the back nine. And so uh, j just like a player, I have those same type of goals, but just in the caddy world. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hello, uh, Daryl at NorCal Caddy. I'll link him in uh, the bio below. He is a, a wonderful caddy, but even better person. So uh, I'm looking forward to our future relationship yeah, as well. Any last things that you would like to say to the viewers? And this guy is awesome. MVP. Uh, just glad to have him, you know, have him ha do this. Like I said, it was, it's been a long time coming and I'm yeah. glad we can do it and, you know, keep up the great work with A through one golf. Thank you guys. And again, A through one golf is for everyone. All right. Have a wonderful day. Like, follow, subscribe. A through one golf out. <laughs> Thanks dude. I think we got it in one take. Dude, I, think we're good. I think we're good.